Hello, my best and hound friends. Welcome to my new full walkthrough playthrough of um, Desolation 2, The Bunker of Fear. <sighs> it's been a long time, long, long time since I played the sequel. If you guys remember my very first um, game that's called um, Desolation 1, the, the, the Stages of Anxiety, this is a direct sequel to it, which I'm excited to do on this. So I'm going to do a walkthrough. I'm really excited to actually finish the sequel to this game. So I'm going to give you guys the full depth walkthrough to how to beat this game. And there's not many videos of this on YouTube nowadays. So this will be your official walkthrough by me, Mark the Punk Gamer. And we're going to do this new game. Let's get this on. There's no survivor beside me, only creature and darkness. There's a, there's a helicopter there on the top of the bunker. Maybe I can reach it and leave this place piece of hell. This place smells blood, but it's my chance to survive. <laughs> a little cutout zombie. This is actually um, digitized graphics, like um, digitized actors in this game. This is pretty interesting for the sequel. So, you got your left kick. Don't worry about the R reload if you're playing on tablet. I'm using Web Genie emulator for this game. So, the R is useless in this game. So, let's, get, let's go with the walkthrough. And this is where you start off with a freaking melee knife. That's all you start off with. So... First off, go out, pull out your inventory, and bring out your gun. Look in the top of the down arrow here. You see where the phone is on, next to it? That's the Glock um, magazine for your gun. So collect that right where that dot is, and go left. And you see an M16 mag right where those arrows are. Um, don't even bother picking it up. I'm going to show you. This M16 in the game sucks. Okay, it's inaccurate in this game. I don't know if they made this gun miss on purpose. I have no idea. Just the rifle is useless in this game. I mean, the handgun takes the seat for the whole game. Okay, guys? So go left again. There's actually nothing here. Let's back out. And back out of this. Now, if we go left here, and go left here on this arrow, where the hands are, and then go up here. You see this chain holding the gate here? It says, a chain holds that door. Exactly. So we're going to need something to cut this chain down later on. So let's back out of here. Let me turn up a little bit. So, we're going to continue. Go to down arrow right here. That's where it leads you to. So, I'm going to go right here in this bottom arrow. Yeah, see, there's another set of hallways. Go forward. There's nothing here in this section. Press right again. And you see a first aid kit and a piece of paper. Don't, pick, don't bother picking up the med kits because it doesn't store into your inventory. It's like once you pick it up, it heals yourself, so... In this sequel. So don't bother to pick them up yet. Unless you're low health. So click this paper here. So I can't even read it. So if you guys can read that. You probably can't. So I'm going to back out of this paper. Back. Left arrow. And let's go back. And now we're going to go left here. And we click back here. Oh, sorry. That leads you back here. So, if we go right here, you see that's another set of hallways. Go left first. And you see the next section. You see under the desk here, that's actually a pump. So, click down here. You see where that white dot is? That's where you can collect that pu um, pump. I'll show you where the pump goes in a little bit. So, go down to this computer here. So... This is the only working laptop here in this section. As you can see, we, we need to insert 
a compact disc. I'll show you where you can get the compact disc later on. So I'm not going to tell you now. So go left here where that face is. Yeah, right there. It's under his face. That's where the next arrow is. So if you click here, that's another Glock for your gun. Like I said, the Glock is the most beast in this game. Trust me. So that's where the Glock is. Your second Glock weapon. So go left on this arrow here. You see another first aid kit? Don't pick it up yet. That's where the next med kit is. So back here down. And we'll go forward. And we're going to go left here. We're going to face our first enemy here. Left. Shoot it five times. One, two, three, four, five. And there you go. I might pick up that med kit that's actually up here. That's where the med kit is on the white dot is. So we're going to go right. And you see a Glock magazine down here where next to my red dot is on my... Here. Don't pick that magazine. Don't pick the M16 magazine. The rifle is useless in this game. Just click on this paper here if you guys can read that. I can't. Okay. Let's go back. It says the Glock takes the front seat for this game. You know? Go left on this arrow here. And there's another zombie. Shoot it five times. And it's dead. <laughs> it's just hilarious, this game. It's just digitized actors. Click the bottom arrow here, and you see there's a bucket here. It reads, Some ways from the research on this is, infect is infected. Exactly. So we're not going to touch that. You click this down arrow on the top here. And you try to funnel around in these pipes. He'll say, these pipes are unnecessary. So we can't do anything with these pipes here. Now if you click this other down here, down arrow here, it takes you to the sink. And it's full of that red blood water here. And you click that what it says. I will not put my hand into this infected blood. So we're going to need the pump that's in your inventory. Just click on the inventory. And click on this pump here. And then click on the bloody wa red water. And there you go. It'll drain out the infected blood water. So click the down in the sink again. And watch it drain. This is where the, um, the key is located. And just click on here. This is where the white dot is. Where the key is. So, uh, And I got checkpoint reach. So now I'm not going to tell you where the key goes to yet. It'll be very important. So let's go back out, back out again, and we're going to move forward. Go left on this arrow here, and it takes you to another room. Don't pick up the med kit as possible. I want to show you guys a little Easter egg right here. You see that? Or next to my red dot here, that's actually a Scarface movie poster. That's an Easter egg, <laughs> which is cool. Anyway, I want to show you guys that. And there's nothing here. All it is is just paper, if you guys can read that. I doubt it, so I'm going to click out, back out of it. I'm not going to pick up the med kit. Tempting as it is, but I don't want to. Let's back out of this room. And go to this top left arrow here. And down arrow here. You see this one rock here? I'm going to click on it. I don't know what it is, but it looks like the it needs more weight. So we're going to actually find, we're going to locate the two rocks we're going to gonna place there. Oops. I got, ah, this camera. Sorry about that, guys. All right, now, we're going to back out now and go to this right arrow here. And go left. And you see right here on this sink, pick up the chain cutter. We're going to need to use that for that one gate that's holding it up. So we're going to back out now. And back again. So we're going to go back to that gate I mentioned. Go down. Down. Down again. 
and then left, right where that gun is holding. And then, oh, let me um, smallerize my camera a bit. There we go. And then we go this arrow here. And this is where we need to use the chain right here to cut it. So open up your inventory, use the chain cutters, and there you go. Checkpoint reached. So I'm going to bring out my gun right now, my Glock, and back out, <laughs> back, black out of it, and then go forward. There's going to be another zombie. Shoot it like the last zombie, five shots. That's all it needs. One, two, three, four, five. Easy. And we're going to walk forward here. This is actually where the first rock is located in this little shed here. Click on this pad here. This is a very easy to puzzle to figure it out. So click that once, once, and click that three times, four times, and then click this one one times. Click once on that, click twice for this one, and three times for this one. Once for this one, once for that one, once, and then click twice for this one, and there you go. Oh, wait. <laughs> I kind of messed up. Sorry. So it's... Okay. Um, lost my track there. All right, that's how you do it. It's like that formation there. Let me click out of the way. See? That's, that's the configuration you need to do on this puzzle. And the shed will unlock. And I got checkpoint reach. Click this crack of the door here. And this is where your first rock is. You collect your first rock. And just back out now. And I'm going to tell you where you can get the second rock now. We need. We're going to go right. I'm going to go right right now. Well, forward, sorry. Let's go forward. Forward again. And forward to this door right here. This arrow. And we go top left. Alright, you see this keypad right here with the five lidded red dots? You can actually press on them. And what we need to do is get them all green. So that's your objective. Try to open this gate. So click on the red buttons until you get lucky. To unlock it. Basically. Just click on the dots until all of them are lit. That's all I'm going to say. I'm just configuring which button it is. So, click on this dot. Basically, you have to configure it until you get lucky. To know which one it is, to be honest. Ah, oh, come on. Right. I'm still figuring it out. There we go, see? That's all you have to do. Alright, make sure you have your handgun out. So this is the next zombie. Same, takes like five shots. One. Oh, I have to reload. One, two, three, four, five. Easy. So you see another rock there? Collect it. That's your second rock collected. That's where the second rock is located. Right where that, right after that zombie. So back out now. And go top left here. And down arrow on the top here. And this is where you need to place those two rocks. So we're going to place the two rocks right now. Place the first rock here. Open your inventory up again. Place the last rock. And you get a compact disc right down here. And there you go. I'm going to show you guys how you can put the compact disc. I'm going to bring out my gun again. Press left to get out of it. I'm going to back out now. I'm still on full health, which is good. I have not taken any damage. So we're going to go left. Ah, here we go. And then go down here to this laptop here. And just click on the laptop, open your inventory, click, the, click on the compact disc, and place it in. And then, to reboot your system cor correctly, put your backup CD-ROM and press OK. So we're going to press OK. 
and we'll and this will boot up this laptop here <laughs> and that's the next picture there so I'm gonna read this the first source the first source of the infection named by the streets of Montreal, Canada. At this time, we tried to develop a sort of a, our against the bite of the African larva. Our first try give us the serum B72A1. Serum B, B72A1. And it contains some vandenum of, I can't even read that. It seems to have an effect in, on our tasting testing subject, a criminal called Yen LePage. His hair restarted to grow. So that's the description for the Friday briefing. Let's read Dave's email. Hi Dennis, I will give you your news very soon on what we're talking about last week. And hey, I heard about you and your wife. I'm happy for you, man. I hope it works this time. Take care, my friend. See you later, Dave. Oh, that's nice. All right, we're going to click on this key where the roof access is. Click on it. I will put the user and password to this um, walkthrough for you guys so you can get the idea in the walkthrough. So I'm going to type it in right now. The first one is Dennis. I'm going to put that in. Come on, keyboard. There we go. Dennis. There we go. And just click on this. If you're playing on tablet, click on again. All right, I'm going to erase this. I'm going to put the password in. 6V, capital V, 2, capital A, and little s, 2, capital G, little a, four, capital T, and A. And that's it. That's the username and password for this. So let's click OK. If you got it all imp imported in. And we got a code called 3674, and I got checkpoint reach. I'm going to write that down so I don't want to forget it. Three, six, seven, four. It's randomized every time you correctly input it in every playthrough. So I'm going to back out now. Back out. Thank you. And now we're going to go back out. You will encounter an enemy here. See, slap on the tongue. That's going to be the first, that's going to be the boss for this game. Just wait for him to stop and then shoot him. Oh, I didn't bring out my gun. Hold on. Wait for him to stop and then shoot him. Shoot the shit out of him. Wait for him to stop. And then shoot him. Shit. Oh. One. Keep shooting him. And there you go. Basically, you have to wait for him to stop moving around and then shoot him. Basically, that's all you have to do. And I'm at low health. I need to get health desperately. So I'm going to go find some health right now. I'll go to that one room. So I need the health desperately. Remember when I told you to save your health items? So it's a good time to use them. So... And it brings you up to full health, which is good. All right, let's go back to that door I will show you. Back again. And you go left on this arrow here. And there's the door you need. There's a keypad here you need to enter. So I'm going to enter 3674 right now. 3, 6, 7, Four. And there we go. And I got a checkpoint reached. Make sure you bring your pistol out. There's going to be a zombie. Right after the stairs, there's going to be a zombie. It takes like five shots, as usual. One, two, three. Ah, come on. Three, 
four, five. And there you go. He's dead. Let's go up. And you see this door is locked. It says the door to the roof is locked. Remember where we picked up that key in from that sink? Open your inventory. Right next to, it's under this um, rifle here. Use the key on the door. And there you go. That's pretty much the end of the game. I finally got out. And alive. That's pretty much the end of the game. So, I hope you guys enjoy this walkthrough. Um, I hope this helps for you guys. And I'm going to let the credits roll. I hope this walkthrough will help for you guys. There's not a lot of videos um, for this game. I hope this game gets noticed by my walkthrough. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my walk, um, playthrough slash walkthrough for this game. It's been a long time since I've done the sequel. I've finally done the sequel. I'm happy to do it. And show you guys to complete this game 100%. Wow. Very long time since I've done the sequel and I've completed it. I'm just going to watch the rest of the credits here. The end. Wow. But for some reason, I can't click the bonus or more games or anything, so... You have to find out what it's... The what the bonus is. Um, let me know in the comments below if you get through the walkthrough and tell me what that bonus is. I can't even click on it last time I did the walkthrough. So I'd love to know how, to, what the bonus is, to be honest. I just want to do this because to take a break from that one Gloomy Dungeons game that I was doing. To do this game, I was really want to finish the sequel, so I finished it now. But I hope all of you Bass Sound friends enjoyed. I enjoyed it very much in the sequel. So I will see you guys later. Oh, subscribe to me if you haven't. Click the bell not to get notified on my next video whenever I upload. Comment and like about this. I will love some comments from this. And I will see you later, Bass Sound friends, on my next video.